In this video guide, I will show you how you can download, install and run FreeCAD. What is FreeCAD? It's an open source, completely free uh, software that you can download for free. You don't have to pay anything and you can use it as a um, computer aided design software. So you can basically, let me show you some images. You can create 3D models of any kind architecture or industrial design and so on but also you can create 2d drawings just like autocad so this is the best free alternative to autocad which is the most uh, diffuse and uh, i think uh, omnipresent most diffuse all around the world software for the CAD, for the computer aided design. And of course, you can buy AutoCAD if you are a professional and you need it for work. And you can also download the student version or the trial version. You can find anything you need in the official website. But in this case, we will talk about the free alternatives to Autodesk AutoCAD. And we talked in another video about LibreCAD, which is another. Um, option and I already told you that in that other video that the difference between LibreCAD and FreeCAD is uh, essentially the complexity of the interface and also the, um, the tools that we have. So for example in LibreCAD we have this old-fashioned um, interface uh, pretty similar to very old versions of AutoCAD but it's uh, really fast and easy to use. You can download it and install it uh, right away. It's pretty fast and I have shown you how to do that into another video. So I just want to compare the two software. And But the FreeCAD is more complex. It has a lot of more tools and also it, you can work with 2D and 3D. Uh, which you cannot do in uh, LibreCAD. Okay, so let's go to the official website and see how we can download the FreeCAD software. So we basically go here or we can go directly to the download page once we have searched for uh, FreeCAD on Google or other uh, search engine. Okay, so we are inside this wiki looking page and down here we have Windows, Mac and Linux so we can download and install FreeCAD for all these operative systems. In my case I will pick Windows 64-bit and once I click here, there you go, I can now save this file anywhere and I already saved one so I, I will not download it uh, two times. So if I, well, actually I've placed mine on the, the desktop, which is this one. This is the installer file. And as you can see, it's almost half of a gigabyte. It's a 500 megabyte. And uh, so this is 500, while LibreCAD, it's only uh, 27 megabytes. So this is the real difference. The dimension of the file and so also the time that you will spend downloading and installing. So it will take a little bit more time to download and install FreeCAD. But again, you have a lot of tools, you have 2D and 3D. While with LibreCAD, you only have 2D and a very a simple interface and software. Okay, so once you finished to download this, you should find uh, it should take up around 5 or 10 minutes depends on your internet connection but once you have finished you should find well let me close now every page so this is the the installation file the installer so you just double click here and this is the, the one that you should find on the download or anywhere you have saved it and then you just proceed with the installation and I already installed the software, so it's telling me this. You have already installed it, so what you want to do, is, uh, overwrite or whatever, well, I don't want to do anything. You just double click here and go through the wizard, which is a pretty simple wizard. You just have to click next, 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 
just if you want you can change the directory on your hard disk where you want to install this file otherwise no problem at all you just go straight and once you have finished you should have this icon on the desktop which is a shortcut to the actual software which is uh, you can access the software from here and you can add this to the start menu there you go so you have a lot of uh, options really and let me double click directly on this shortcut that I have right here on the desktop and in the meanwhile I will get rid of this I don't need it anymore and there you go so we are inside FreeCAD very simple very fast and we have some examples I'm sorry this is in Italian at the moment but I will just tell you the basic things about the interface so you don't need to know anything uh, every single word at the moment you just fo focus on the um, on the parts of the interface so we have these examples that we can start from for example let's open up this arc detail FCSTD this is the format there you go it's pretty nice we have this kind of um, uh, really um, clean technical drawing but uh, we can also have some other uh, um, well let's click here this is a structure so here on the on the model we can see anything in 3d we can select every single part of this uh, object let me go a little bit closer so this is perfect for engineers architects uh, industrial designers you don't have uh, a lot of tools about rendering and modeling but uh, you know you can find some other software for example if we if you go in our website which is JBD cube and you can find something also in English I have a lot of videos in Italian just few in English but in the future I will make more video courses in English and at the moment you can find the Redshift video course which is a render engine, a really powerful render engine. Also some sculpting and modeling video course on Madbox. And Fluidray, it's also a really nice real-time render, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. I really suggest you use this for rendering. And also some other uh, video courses on modeling, 3D modeling in Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Rhino, and so on. So just uh, subscribe also to the channel and stay tuned because we will make much more many more uh, videos in English and video courses so I am back here at the page at the FreeCAD page main page so in the website here you can go to to the the English page here to the home page and here you if you go to documentation well of course you have also the download page again if you need it you can download it from here and if you go into the documentation there you go this is a really nice uh, part of this website where you can actually study the software using the manuals and so on and here you have this uh, really nice uh, scheme which explain how the interface works so basically the first and most important part is the main view area which is the the 3d view in this case but it, it can also become 2d and um, you have the um, three view this one which will show the geometrical objects in the documents and this is also the one that we use and also we have this property panel which will show the property of your object similar to AutoCAD 2d 3d selection view and you can you know go by yourself here you can read everything uh, to understand better the interface this bottom part here is the report view where we it will show me some messages errors and uh, notifications this is the Python console where you can um, see the comments uh, execute comments and down re at the real uh, bottom part there are other information 
and you can also get tips from here and other important textual messages and this is it so it's pretty simple you have the drop down menu sorry actually we forgot the, the, the top part you have the drop down menu here at the top pretty standard and then we have this uh, kind of toolbar that you can also modify and I will show you now directly on the software so to navigate you can use this um, view cube and you can switch views from here you can also change from perspective to orthographic so that you have the 2d look or isometric okay you can do a lot of changes here and you can also well we can switch back to perspective also you can find here at the top some navigation tools and to navigate like with the pan you have to hold the control and the right key uh, the right uh, button of your mouse with the shift key and the right you can orbit around and then you can also zoom with the scroll wheel and also if you click on the scroll wheel you can pan again so these are the um, the option the navigation tools but I will not go into deep with um, these uh, commands I just want to stay on the interface for this video so what I want to do now is I want to close everything to show you what will happen right from the scratch so here I'm closing all the views and I don't want to save anything if I click here on plus and I open a new document I will not see anything except for this um, empty space here in the middle you have the, your interface and so on uh, these are the main commands here on the, in the toolbar that it's at the top and down below we have some secondary um, uh, actions and for the views the, the orbit the zoom and so on well um, one very important thing to know just right at the start is that you you don't see any tool here to work with 2d or 3d to do that you have to go here where there is this uh, little uh, start icon and you have to click here and you can select then the interface that you want the the, the toolbar that you need to do your job for example if I go to draft here I can start to work with 2d drawings so if I uh, go to draft and well let's say yes okay then we can activate this like that and this is a standard line we can select it we can see the properties down here and so this is to work in 2d if we want to work in 3d we have of course we have a lot of options here but I'm showing you just a couple of examples so in this case I will go to part and as you can see here I can create for example this cone and to see that better I will go here and I don't know why it's uh, upside down but you know this is just an example I just wanted to show you how you can create easily 2d and 3d stuff here in FreeCAD and this is all for this introduction and to explain the basic uh, notions about the interface and if you like this video subscribe to the channel support us and in the future we will make more videos and video courses on CAD, uh, BIM, 3D design and so on. So thanks for watching see you in the next video.